the question I get asked the most is can you translate my name into Japanese. I know having your name in Japanese is cool. I have many things with my name embroidered in Japanese. In this video I want to share with you and explain the process that it takes to translate Western names into Japanese because I think it's pretty easy. Now I say it's pretty easy if you know three things. Number one, you have a basic understanding of the Japanese language specifically how to pronounce vowels and consonants. Number two, you know the katakana, which is one of the three writing systems in Japan. And number three, if you want to write your name in kanji, then you need to know how to read and write kanji, which I already made a video about that. Now in this video, I want to explain specifically how to translate your name using katakana because that is the most common way that Western names are translated into Japanese. Okay, so Japan has three writing systems, the hiragana, the katakana, and kanji. Hiragana and katakana, together known simply as kana, are syllabic scripts. This means that each kana character corresponds to one sound in the Japanese language. Unlike kanji, these characters have no meaning. These sounds are always with a consonant and vowel, or just a vowel. They both contain 46 characters. The difference is that the hiragana is used for native words, while the katakana is used for foreign words. For this reason, when translating western names into Japanese, katakana is used. This is the katakana. You read it from top to bottom and right to left. On the right column, here we have the vowels. A, I, U, E, O. On the top are nine consonants. These consonants are then combined with each vowel to create the sound of each character. The last character is used for the end sound. Like any other language, there are combinations, exceptions, and other factors that will alter the basic pronunciation of a syllable. The katakana is no exception. For example, a small alteration to the character, such as placing two dots in the upper right-hand corner, changes the consonants K to G, S to Z, T to D, and H to B. There are also combinations of multiple characters to create new sound. For example, when combining D, with ya creates the sound ya instead of rija. Notice that when this happens, the second character is slightly smaller than the first. Before you write your name in katakana, you need to convert the pronunciation of it to match the Japanese language. To demonstrate this, I'm going to translate two names. One will be easy to do, the other one not so much. The first name I'm going to translate is Monica. This one is super easy because when we split Monica into syllables, we have mo, ni, Ka. Each one consists of a consonant followed by a vowel. If you look each syllable in the katakana, we can easily write Monica like this. I'm going to translate is my wife's name Rachel. This one is not as easy as Monica. Let's see why. When we break down Rachel into syllables, we have Ray, Chell. In this case, it's important to understand the Japanese pronunciation. We can use the character Ra because in English this is pronounced Ray. Therefore, we need to use the characters Re, E. The second syllable has some challenges as well. The sound che doesn't happen in the Japanese language, although shu and chi do. The L sound doesn't happen either. Usually a character from the R column is used to represent the L sound. This is because in Japanese R's are very soft. Since we can't find a character that sounds like che, I'm going to have to make some combinations. First, I'm going to use the character for chi. Next, I'm going to use the character for e. And then I'm going to use the character for ru to mimic the L sound at the end. So we have chiaru.
put it all together and we have Rape Jero. As you can see, Rape Jero doesn't sound exactly like Rachel, but it's close. We can say that Rape Jero is the Japanese version of Rachel. I would like to point out that I could use this combination, the character Chi with a small E next to it to create Che, but it is not natural and if I wanted to write it in kanji, I wouldn't be able to because there aren't any kanji pronounced Che.